could she really be here, waiting for me? Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Hey guys, after 12 years of silence from the franchise, it has finally been broken with the release of Silent Hill 2 Remake. And there was loads of controversy regarding the team who was chosen to take on this task. And due to the alleged incompetence and the not so great releases of their past titles, Polish development blooper team who have been known to be diehard fans of the original Silent Hill 2 have partnered with Konami to develop the game that has been loved by survival horror fans for two decades. And here are the two reasons why I think this makes us fans a little bit nervous. The remake of Silent Hill 2 is not only important to revitalize the series but also to introduce the new generation of gamers to one of the best survival horror franchises of all time. And Konami had mentioned they trust blooper teams due to their unique passion for psychological horror games. In this video, we're going to uncover the mystery and delve in and take a deeper look into the Silent Hill 2 remake. From beautiful visuals that are brought to us by the Unreal Engine, the new zoomed in third person perspective, and the reimagined Silent Hill 2 world now to be viewed more freely without limitations. And although the original developers suggested changes to the game in order to give the older players a new experience, Blooper Team denied the changes to give the newer generation the same unique experience that made the original game so great. The main goal of Blooper Team was to preserve that great original atmosphere. So one of the many things that Blooper Teams has changed is James will now have to view the map and pick up items in first person. And the question still remains if James will be left in real time and vulnerable to attacks. And good news for you scroungers, now not only can you continue to find random loot on the ground, players can now search through their environments for items. There are now some vehicles, drawers, and bookshelves that are now fully interactive. With the original game peaking at 10 to 12 hours of gameplay, the Silent Hill 2 remake has added playtime by over 5 hours. And it is assumed Blooper Team has implemented new areas, more puzzles, and more buildings to explore. Speaking of additional playtime, players will now have greater access to areas of the map. With more family homes, alleys, and backyards to go through, exploration will definitely be expanded this time around. Puzzles are now more interactive and will require the player to combine items found all around Silent Hill. The interface seems very smooth and straightforward. Players will be able to scroll through the item inventory while in the puzzle screen. Now I'm not sure how a glued together record would work in a jukebox, but it's the Silent Hill universe. And anything's possible.
Developers at Bloopers claim implementing modern combat to fit with the classic atmosphere was one of the trickiest parts of development. Players can now dodge left, right, backwards, and also use power attacks. This system is very similar to Silent Hill Homecoming. I'm sorry I reminded you of that spooky hotel. As if you didn't have enough PTSD. And with the new free aiming system, it's no longer how many times you shoot your enemy, it's where. The firearm mechanics are your typical third person over the shoulder style, very similar to Resident Evil 4. And most of the firearms from the original will be in the remake. And there are rumors around the internet of additional firearms being added. Now you can get up close and personal with your weapon and examine it. And to me, I think that's a really good addition. It really adds a lot of spice to the game. Hold on a second, freeze frame. Okay, can we just pause it and really admire the blood splatter animation on that? Let's rewind and take another look. And one more time. Clean kill. That's right, James. And walk away like the badass you are. Well, I want to thank everybody for watching. If this video does somewhat well, I will upload a part two and I will cover the characters, the controversy, and the lore of the remake.